We are live. I look like I'm sitting underneath you. Look. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, now I do look even. Yeah, there, there we go. go. I just <laughs> raised my seat. Oh, so nice. I, so I look like <laughs> an adult. <laughs> I also pushed my ca uh, uh, camera back a little bit so I don't look as big. That was funny. Yeah, that was good. So guess what, Evelyn? I think hmm. today we're going to test to see if I don't cough. <clears throat> I mean, there's a little bit of clearing the throat. Yeah. But I think today may be the best day so far. Wow. With this uh, bronchitis that I have. That's, I'm, I'm so glad to hear that. Yeah. It's, it's like, it's, it's like every day you wake up and you're like, okay. Yeah. It's going to happen. And then <clears throat> something dawned on me yesterday. Every time I sit in this corner, yeah. it seems to be more. Oh, that's so weird. So there was like this plant that was standing yeah. right here. Mm -hmm. Not a plant. It was really a tree. Oh, I should say hi to everyone. <laughs> Let's see. Well, they, they're they probably not here yet. Mm -hmm. Right? They usually don't join us. But oh, welcome. Yeah. Welcome to the Friends Like Us review and preview. <clears throat> I'm Marina Franklin. And I'm Evelyn Frick. Yeah. <laughs> Justin Swift is saying, hey. Hello. Hey, Justin. Hey, Cousin Jimmy. Thank you for saying I'm funny and witty. Thank you. We do this every Saturday. We will, um, as soon, the weather's nice though. And so we'd like yeah. to be out in it. <laughs> yeah. So we may change the day. We may change the time, but for now it's Saturday. Maybe yeah. we'll go into April, but we will, we will let you know. If you follow me on YouTube, it'll say when we're going live, it'll give you like a, a, a reminder. Yeah. So I was just talking about my cough, how I've had it for a while. I don't have COVID. I just had bronchitis, but I also think it was allergies. And there yeah. was a tree that was right here in this corner. Mm. And I think the tree, I think I was allergic to that tree. tree. Oh, that would make sense. I had three of them. Oh, no. I had them in each corner of my apartment. Oh, no. And last night I was like, you know what? It's time to take them down. Oh, yeah. It wasn't they like a Christmas tree. But they had little buds on them. Oh, yeah, that could be doing. Well, let's say hi to everyone. Let's see what everyone's talking about. Tell me where you're from when you, if you're, this is your first time. And if it's not your first time, still tell me where you're from, just so I remember, because I have really bad memory. And let's see here. So Cousin Jimmy, hello, Justin Swift, Franklin Sloan, who was at the show. Hey, happy Saturday to you. And thanks for coming to my comedy show. And thank you, Justin, for saying you gals killed it on the. Thank you for coming to the show, Justin, and saying we killed it. Yeah, Looking forward right. to the next one. We don't have a date yet. We're working <laughs> on that. I'm thinking I'm going to do it sooner mm. before April is in. Hi, sorry to hear that you have bronchitis. I mean, I don't know if that's what it was. That's what the doctor put on the chart, but he never said anything to me. And he, yeah. he this is what the doctor did. He went, hmm. <laughs> so that was about it. And yeah. so I don't really... Dixon, Illinois. What? Say word, Illinois. <laughs> Tamara, I need to show this on our stream. Yeah. She got her friends like us coffee mug yesterday. It took oh. so long. Oh, no. Okay, it was my fault, though. <laughs> it was my fault. I was just sitting there because I'm so new at that like program and I didn't know I had to put money in the wallet because like they make the mug. So I actually have to pay them to make the mug. And I was like, I'm not giving you no money. That's basically <laughs> what was happening to Mara. It was all my fault. Sorry, but it, it shouldn't, it won't happen anymore. It's all good. I'm going <laughs> to design some other stuff on that site. 
I'm thinking about some tank tops. Oh, <laughs> summer is coming. Yeah, it'd be great. So I'm so glad you got your friends like us. Coffee mug. Yeah. These are supposed to, these things won't stay in my ear hole. Yeah. All right. Garland, Texas. Franklin, you're all the way in Texas. Oh, this wow. is the first time I'm realizing this. How about you, Evelyn? Yeah, I didn't know where, where Franklin was from. Wow. You thought Arlington, Texas. Oh, heard of you when Godfrey recommended you on They Ready. I love your stand up performances, Marina. Thank you, you thought. That's a funny name. Yeah, it is. Thank you. Yeah, Godfrey is the best, man. He's yeah. like always shouting me out, and it's like, he doesn't have to do that. So yeah. I appreciate it when, you know, a comic reaches back and pulls another one up. It's yeah. awesome. So thank you for like taking his recommendation. And I'm so glad that I stood up to it. Yeah. Warwick, Rhode Island. Oh, John Grow from Warwick, Warwick, Rhode Island. I didn't know they had a Warwick. I didn't either. Wow. Hey, John Grow, thank you. Thanks for loving me. Thank you, <laughs> thank you guys. Thank you. Let me take these off so you can really see my face. Yeah. Hey, oh, there's a Facebook. Facebook yeah, I, I get excited every time I see the, the Facebook icon. When we see Facebook saying hi. We get so excited because for a long time when we would talk on our stream, it would not show up. So, yeah. Hello, uh, Sadiq. Hello. Hi. Hi, everyone. It's a great Saturday. We're mm -hmm. almost, it's it's springtime now. Winter yeah. is done. I saw like a small patch of snow that wouldn't give up. Have you seen that ever? Yeah. Yeah. It's like really dirty and gross. It's, it's, I don't know why that happens, but it was like this small, like, it's just like, I'm not going nowhere. Yeah. This was, this was yesterday. And I was just like, it's over. Like, hang it up. You're done, yeah. Winter. You're done. Yeah, it's springtime. Springtime. So what about you? How's it going? Evelyn, Evelyn, you did such a, such a great oh, job on you. the show. Yeah. Thank you so how did, much. How did you feel? It felt really good. Yeah, it's interesting. I have done Zoom shows before. Um, but honestly, like, um, doing like the warm up spot for your show is like the first zoom show that I've, I've done like in a while and also like consistently. Um, so yeah, it felt really good. Um, it's, I feel like I'll never be like fully, like, I'll never get fully used to, um, the kind of like delay and laughs, um, and like the difference um, between like performing on stage and, and doing Zoom. Um, but like the audience at your virtual shows are always just so like energized. It's never a cold audience. They're always super excited to be there. Um, and also for me as like a young comic starting out, they're super like willing to give a young comic the, the chance to actually listen to them. Cause that I know at some like shows, if there's like a young comic going on, people can, you know, kind of, write them off and be like oh where's the you know where's marina you know um so yeah no it felt really really good um and it was really exciting and then it was also exciting to see um our friends um shauna lane and um suba a girl um perform because we've had them on the show before but i don't think i've ever actually seen them do stand up um so that was fantastic and eric bronstein also killed it so yeah no it was a it was a great show it felt really awesome it was it's it, it's so much fun i always worry up until that time because i'm like you know what's gonna happen i don't know why yeah. i always get like you know as long as i've been doing comedy i still get a little bit of anxiety like you know doing too much of the same material mm. or am i gonna have anything new but you know during this time it's just nice to engage with people yeah and sometimes you know my the the thing about me is like I need to work out some of those older jokes because I can't even remember yeah. a lot of my jokes. I, I Speaking of my Irish joke that I used to do about being in Ireland and not yeah. seeing any black people. Well, I used to start, <laughs> well, I used to start the joke with, I love the Irish. Mm -hmm. And um, I did that joke on Comedy Central without the, the, 
tag that I used to always do. Mm. And I didn't realize it until today. Oh, wow. Because there's a tag where I go, I love the Irish. And then, you know, a lot of Irish people go, woo. And I go, no, no, in Ireland. (laughs) Yeah. And I didn't realize like how important that subtle tag way, because it means a lot, you know? Yeah. (laughs) The Irish here in America, now I'm not going to generalize, but they can be pretty racist. Oh, yeah. Um, Even the Irish in Ireland have told, they're the ones who told me that, by the way. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I didn't say it. Yeah. You know, but the Irish in Ireland, I am becoming part of the small community of of the Irish in Ireland here in New York. (laughs) That's so funny. Paul, he came, Paul, Paul came to fix my light. Yeah. Look, look, look at that. Look, look. Oh, that's so nice. Yes. Yes. Ah. Bitches, yes. So that took a long time to install. Okay. Yeah. And an Italian designed it. Mm-hmm. And an Irishman hung it up because that's yeah. how it works in the world, really. Yeah. And it's like, you know. But it's like I've got an Irish uh, electrician, I've, oh. I've got an Italian desk maker, and I'm pretty much going to have another uh, Irish. He's going to help me with plumbing and stuff. It's it's amazing. That's incredible. But it, but my point is, I forgot that tag, that little. I know that was a long way. That little <laughs> tag that is yeah. so important that I was like, oh god. Okay, let me stop talking. Let me say hi to everyone. But it was a great show and I'm so proud that we did it. And I'm so proud that it was ours. Yeah. My my glasses are, I'm going to tell you, I thought they're fogged up. Oh yeah. I do some of the dumbest things by myself today. I accidentally sprayed avocado oil in my face. Oh no. Well, cause I was like, this thing is not working. (laughs) Is it broken? And then it just went right in my face. um cousin jimmy oh thank you cousin jimmy for that excellent compliment i'm from cali one of my favorite female com oh on top oh thank you cousin jimmy i i feel weird saying it because it feels yeah. so like narcissistic but yeah. Jay, thank you for talking about comic timing <laughs> so sweet thank you um uh der, 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 ooh, i am not i don't I'm gonna try. Yeah, I cannot. Okay, let's just put this on the screen here <laughs> because I don't want to mess up your name. Oh my God, Hamilton Heights for. We have to talk <laughs> because let me tell you, Rashi Miza. T- please t- give me the phonetic pronunciation. I don't want to. This is a beautiful name. I don't oh, she mess gave it, it to up. us. It's oh, where is it? Ju- the, the newest comment. Do hear Gway. Oh, do hear Gway. That's a beautiful name. Yeah, do, that's really beautiful. Do hear Gway. Oh, I love that. I would name my daughter that if I was going to have one. Yeah. But I'm not. <laughs> do hear Gway. Let me tell you, Hamilton Heights, if you're a realtor, please DM me. Help me. Oh. <laughs> I've, I've, as you all know, I've been warring with this restaurant behind my building, and I mean, I'm probably going to stay, but I am looking to own a home. So, do here, Gway, hook me up, girl. DM me. Um. Oh, Sadiq, love, we love your work. Oh, Sadiq, thank you. Great to see a friend from U of I. It's great to see you too. Bye. Brings. Oh, I love this. Her name, Duhirgwe, says, oh, it means bring us blessings. Oh, I love that. From Rwanda. Oh, I love that. So wait, Hamilton Heights, but you're, oh, ha- oh, okay, okay, okay. I got it. I got it. Well, it was very nice to meet you virtually. Yeah. Duhirgwe. Du- I'm going to try to remember that. Don't mess it up, Marina. Don't mess Duhirgwe. It's a beautiful name. It's nice. Gosh, yeah. My name means a place where you dock boats. <laughs> <laughs> I love saying yeah. that to people. Um, That's a great joke. Thank you. 
Thank you, <laughs> Evelyn. Of course. It was a fun show. I'm I'm so glad we did it. I'm so glad that I did it. Yeah. Um, I was talking to a couple of comics while we were playing Fortnite. Mm -hmm. Me, Jordan Rock, Mateo, uh, Lane. We were yeah. in, we were talking about that. Like you can do your own comedy show. Yeah. Right now. You don't have to have someone else do it for you. You just get, you know, figure it out. Do the work. Yeah. So it's nice to own your own show. Yeah, absolutely. And so. to be able to do what you want with it. And it's like, it's nice, yeah, to, um, with like the comics that we had, it's um, on the show, I remember you saying, you know, like you can do like, you know, eight to 10 minutes or 15 if you want to. It's like nice to have that like freedom to, to let like your, um, the jokes that you have kind of flow a little bit more um, freely. Yeah, and I that's why I also like to come on before and in between because I want the audience to know you're my friends. Yeah. To be, and to be respectful and to, you know, it's it, the art of stand up is not an easy one. At yeah. All. It really isn't, you know, and like you said about the timing. Yeah. And, and, um, it is weird on my show. I don't worry so much about it. Yeah. I can tell there's a, a tad of a lag, but I can't really tell because yeah. it's such good energy that comes from the audience. They're just there. Yeah, exactly. I know it's weird, but I like the people who like me. That's a, I know that's <laughs> a weird saying, but I like every comic has their audience. You can tell mm -hmm. what type of audience they draw. Yeah. Um, and some, some comedians, I'll look at their line standing outside and I'll be like, Oh, <laughs> Oh, you need new friends. And, yeah. Honestly, <laughs> you really need new friends. So, so yeah. are you getting out there, Evelyn? Are you, what did you do this week? Um, this week has been a little bit, um, a little bit slower for me. Um, I was, I mean, like, I think last weekend we had really nice weather and then the rest of the week it was just kind of very cold and windy. Um, so I've just kind of been in the last few days, um, but I have been prepping to come back to New York, um, which I'm very excited about. I got my first COVID vaccine shot on Monday and then my next one is in early April. So after that, um, yeah, I'll be coming back to New York and my girlfriend will be moving in with me. So um, a lot of very exciting things are happening. Yeah, very, yeah. very excited. It's good. There's light. Yeah, exactly. And the weather's getting warmer. You know, the sun is out for longer. Um, yeah. it, it feels, <laughs> things feel like it, everything's coming alive again. Still can't get over the sun. Yeah. By the way, Greg Simon, hello, my friend. Hello. This is a good friend of mine from Chicago. Shot town. Oh, yeah. Yes. If you're just joining us, Marina Franklin here with Evelyn. We do this every Saturday. We do a Friends Like Us. That's my podcast review and a preview. And we shout out some of the compliments we've gotten from the podcast for doing the podcast. And we also just love to talk and chat and yeah. recap of what's going on on with us. Like Evelyn was just talking about the vaccine. Yeah. How are you feeling since the vaccine? Do you feel like any, this is your first one. Did you feel any effects? Yeah. Um, not really. I, I mean, my arm was a little bit sore um, the day that I got it. And then the day after, um, but you know, that's pretty typical for whenever I get a shot. Um, and for like dealing with that, it's always just good to like move your muscle around. So even if it's sore, so I was doing like arm stretches, um, the like that day just to kind of get like the um, vaccine kind of moving around in, in my muscle. And so now it feels completely fine. Um, I was maybe a little bit tired afterwards, but nothing, um, extreme so yeah i didn't have any um really um you know kind of big side effects what about you you just got the the second dose yeah the second dose and you're right about moving the arm around because yeah. i did i didn't do that the first time yeah. and it did last the the arm thing but then yeah. i worked out yeah and i told my trainer i was like hey relax i just got the vaccine mm -hmm. and he did not relax <laughs> <laughs> and you know what, though, it, yeah. you, you were absolutely right. The sore, all that soreness went away. 
Yeah, it's it's counterintuitive. Yeah, like you think like, oh, it's sore, like I don't want to move it that much, but it it really helps to alleviate stuff. That is but, key. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, moving it around, but you know, he had me punching. Oh wow, which I was like, I don't know, and he, I just noticed <laughs> he was ignoring me. <laughs> like every time I would say something like that, he just like, oh, yeah. But um, he was right because it went away. Yeah. And I, the, but the second vaccine shot is supposed to, like a lot of people say they have the most symptoms on the second shot. Yeah. I have the Pfizer. You had Pfizer. I had too. Pfizer also. Yeah. Okay. So the Pfizer vaccine for me, uh, the I didn't, I'm probably, my friend said I'm the only one in the world who didn't have symptoms, but I did not have, oh, okay. I didn't have a cold Wow. I didn't have chills. I mean, I have hot flashes all the time. <laughs> if I did, I it probably was just like regular. I yeah. we did the, we did the show that night. I, yeah, no, you didn't seem off at all. <laughs> On the day after we, I did the show that night and I didn't Yeah. You know, maybe I'm tired. I don't know, but I'm also sometimes I'm tired cuz I'm up late. I was yeah. up late to get the vaccine cuz the night before the vaccine, I'm usually like, I'm anxious. So I didn't yeah, really yeah. sleep and had it early. And by the way, getting the shot, I was in and out. They took me when I got there. Oh, that's so nice. I just walked in. They were like, oh, okay, well, come on in. And I was there like 50 minutes early. Oh, wow. Okay. That's really nice. The place that I went to is um, <clears throat> in the city where I am. They like just finally set up like a community vaccination center and like an, <laughs> an old, um, a store that went out of business at the mall <laughs> so oh, it's just wow. like this old like um it's still like it was a bonton it so it still kind of looks like a bonton but it was a little bit slow um but it was only because they were having so many people come in so uh, like i was waiting in line for a i'd say maybe like a half a good half an hour but to me like i i was at least glad to see um like that there are people getting the vaccine because the area that I'm in can be a little bit more conservative. Um, oh, so I, was, I heard they're not getting the vaccine. Yeah. Yeah. So I was just glad to see that, that um, people were actually getting it, you know? Yeah. That it's, it's amazing that. Um, oh, I was just looking at our chat. Yeah. No one else is talking. It got kind of slowed us. up. Where's every, where everybody at yo. <laughs> every, every everyone's out ha enjoying the weather that's mm -hmm. probably what's happening but yeah, yeah oh they're probably really listening to us talk about this vaccine too yeah but they were saying that republicans not necessarily conservative but republicans were not into getting the vaccine yeah which and well it's like the thing that like really bothers me is you see people like um, like conservative politicians like Ted Cruz or something, or yeah, like Tamara said, like Trump got, they get the vaccine because, you know, they're politicians and they're wealthy and they're white and all this stuff. But then they like talk to their constituents as if like they don't get need to get the vaccine. Um, it's just a level of privilege that um, is quite irritating. <laughs> yes. Look at this. Oh, it's covering your whole face. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I'll move my, oh no. Go. But it's kind of important. Hatem. Hello, Hatem. Thank you for joining us today. Where are you at, Hatem? Where are you located? He Ooh. says, hi guys, Marina, thank you for the amazing live shows. We still get, we still didn't get vaccinated. So we're not going out yet. Can you please make more live shows in April? Yes, we're, we are going to we're going to do that. Yeah. We we have to think of a date and mm -hmm. we will promote it. We'll let you know the date. Um, yeah. But I think we should do that. You think so, Evelyn? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I was, I think both of us initially were like, oh, like this um, March show might be our last one because like people are, you know, getting vaccinated. But the more that we've um, kind of talked about it online, um, people really have been like, no, please do more live shows. Um, so yeah, no, I think continuing um, to, to do them would be a, a really good thing. 
The only thing is I've got to figure out my regular schedule because yeah. they're trying to, they, 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 they want someone try to get me to go to Iowa last week. Oh no. <laughs> on the day of our planned show. So I've oh, got to oh, figure yeah. out my schedule. Yeah. I've got to figure that out, but we are going to do it. We're going to keep it going. We're going to keep yeah. it going because it's, it's just like, I can hear the demand. And why yeah. not? And we're thinking about our international friends too. Yeah. So we're thinking about doing one for the international time yeah. so that you can come to the show and feel like, you know, awake. Yeah. Yeah. We just got a comment from Steve saying, yes, please. More live shows. I'm watching from London. Really? Yeah. Wow. London. Yeah, I'm always amazed at how many international viewers and, and fans we get. It's really incredible. That is incredible. Oh, Justin. Yeah, Justin is saying, do as I say, not as I do, says the vaccination, vaccinated politicians. Yes. Yeah. Trump. Yeah, that's what he did. Yeah. It's amazing. And then this has been like just the saddest week with all of the um, uh, Asian crime, yeah. hate racism that's going on it's insane and that officer and his comment oh my gosh yeah yeah and then they their um response to is oh we're gonna ha put more of a police presence in asian communities which that's never <laughs> that's not gonna help it's just um i wonder what the statistics are on asians though in their interaction with police officers yeah it's, yeah it, it has to be drastically different I it has yeah i'm sure it, i'm sure it is um the only thing is i think i saw a report i can't like cite it, i don't remember but it's just generally anywhere where police officers go the rate of violence it goes just, up it, yeah it increases that's interesting yeah justin swift says he's got a crew together for us i'll i'd get a crew together for you guys you would yeah. Oh, it's if you came to Iowa. Oh, to Iowa. Can you get them together virtually too? Yeah, that'd be fun. <laughs> if we don't come to Iowa, how about that? <laughs> wow. Look at this. Mook X. I'm from Rwanda residing in Belgium. This is incredible. Yeah, it really is. That's awesome. I mean, this is just from Rwanda all the way in Rwanda residing in Belgium. Yeah. So what time would be what time is it there? Oh, yeah. I have no I idea. Wonder. What time is it? Mook X? Yeah. Um, all right. Oh, Adam from Oh, let's see. Adam says, Did I miss the date? When is the next? Oh, Adam, you did. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, did you or do you mean do you miss the date on on here? No, we're going to announce the next date next weekend. Yeah, <laughs> we do our live. We're going to oh, announce no. the date and we're going to I'm going to post it. I usually have it up on my website, marinafranklin.com and um, also on the link tree that's in the bio. We always mm -hmm. have information there as far as the next shows, but we will definitely do another virtual show. We'll make sure everyone knows. It was mm. so much fun. So please, I, I don't think I'm, I'm ever, I'm more comfortable in my kitchen doing comedy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I can, and I have endless material about um, being kind of a Karen. <laughs> yeah. You know what, Evelyn, I realized mm -hmm. I like went in on that guy who asked me if I want to do commercials. And I forgot, I just, I had done a Pedialyte commercial. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, because that's why I had no symptoms from the vaccine. I should follow up yeah. with that. The yeah. reason I didn't have any symptoms from the second shot is because my friend and had told me that what you need to do is stay hydrated yeah. the night before and the day of. So yeah. they were telling me to get Pedialyte, which I don't know if you guys have noticed. I don't know. It's probably a good stock right now, Pedialyte, yeah, oh yeah. to invest in because I'm seeing nothing but pictures of Pedialyte. So I took yeah. Pedialyte the night before, 33 mm -hmm. ounces the day of. Actually, I had a whole box of Pedialyte. It was delicious. <laughs> um, and then I did a commercial 
uh, during oh, so live Zoom. And I forgot that when that person was like, when are you doing commercials? And I was all in attack. I was like, why would I do commercials? I'm a comedian. I didn't realize I had just, <laughs> I had just done a commercial. That's so funny. <laughs> So what, what's your mailing list? Let's see here. So Adam, you could go to, um, again, go to marinafranklin.com. My mailing list is on there. Yeah. Okay. And also I'll give you here. Marina live comedy mm. at gmail.com. That is our mailing list. Is it entered? Did it, enter? it is. Yeah, I went through. There it is. So let me show that on the stream. Marina Live Comedy at gmail.com. <laughs> What's she? Okay. Uh, let's see. Let me make sure. Oh, it's 810 over there. So wow. let's see. So at three o'clock, if we did a show at three o'clock, that's a pretty good time, I think, for international. I think so. Yeah. Would you be oh. into doing that, Evelyn? Oh yeah, for sure. That'd be fun. All right. So we'll think about doing a show. We'll definitely announce it next Saturday. Yeah. Oh, and, uh, um, Ashif Patrice. Hello, Ashif. Look, I, uh, I've got to put these glasses on. <laughs> I just found out about the Saturday morning live shows this like last week. They're dope. And I plan to keep watching. Oh, Ashley Patrice. Sorry. <laughs> Good thing I have my glasses finally on. Yeah. Yes, we do this every Saturday. We talk, we talk about the podcast. Like speaking of friends like us, yeah. which is my podcast. I don't know if you guys listen to it, but it's available on all platforms and it's mm -hmm. a great podcast. This week's episode. Uh <laughs> look, I just <laughs> blanked. <laughs> I'm blanking so much lately. Well, it's also hard this. because the book was Zainab Johnson, oh, Suba Agarwal, and Wadi Morris. No, I do, but I do that too, just because we plan them a few weeks out, and then the ones from like later are airing. So yeah, no, I I do that also. But yeah, I thought it was a great episode. I, I really enjoyed listening listening to it, um, and I thought it was also good because we, you know, we've had Zainab and Suba on the show quite a bit they're great friends but we haven't had them on in a while so it was it was really nice to to hear from them and and um get some updates yeah it, it yeah you're right because um Zainab is working on upload speaking of updates yeah. upload. and then hearing about her buying a home yeah that was really really interesting and also super topical too um just because I know that like um, people are really trying to buy houses right now because of the, the pandemic. And I also thought that it was really interesting to see the conversation like kind of naturally flow from talking about like buying a house and what that experience was like to also just more generally like black ownership in America. Um, and Zainab and, and Zawadi had some really, really interesting um, points that they, they made. Yes, they had. You're you're a little pixelated for some reason. Can you oh, see no. that? No, I am can't. I it looks. Am I pixelated to you? No, you look really clear. Hmm. It might be can me. See, can you see my mustache? I cannot. <laughs> Do you know I had a guy one time go? I can see your mustache, and he went. <gasps> He actually traced it with his finger. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. How did you respond? It was Gene, my neighbor Gene. He's 70 <laughs> years old. You can't really respond to that. You just go, yeah, Gene. Yeah. No. Don't 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 do that. He goes, Oh, I can see. Look, <laughs> it's right there. And I was like, oh man. Um, Ashley is pronounced Ashley. Yeah. I love the spelling of your name, Ashley. I love it. It's such a different spelling. Yeah. I have two sisters named Ashley. You sh if you listen to the podcast, Ashley Patrice, you should know two sisters named Ashley, one from my mother, one from my father. It's a very complicated, fun family. Um, 
and they're both the same age. So oh, wow. Out. My other, my uh, Ashley, spelled A-S-H-L-E-E. -E. She goes by Juno, Ashley mm. Juno. She's a guitarist, which you could actually wow. look up on YouTube right now. She's got a huge following. She teaches lessons. She teaches you how to play soul hits on the guitar. Oh, that's incredible. Yeah, she she also she played with Fifth Harmony when she was wow. she was on the road with them for a while. She's a, she's pretty good. Pretty good. That's awesome. Yeah. So thanks for loving the podcast, Ashley. Marina Ooh. the goat. Well, thank you for calling me a goat. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I mean, I'm still learning. So yeah. that's like so trendy now. It's like the goat. Goat, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I need that goat money, yo. That's what yeah. I mean. It's like we were talking about owning a home, like you were saying. Everyone is talking about owning a home. Yeah. I'm full on looking for a home. It's very yeah. doable. It's possible. Yeah. Did, you know what's weird is I never really thought about it. And that's weird to me. Yeah. Because it's like, why didn't I ever think about it? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, that's kind of where I am right now. Like, um, my girlfriend and I have just been talking about moving together. We've been looking at apartments, but even so, just like talking about the future, we've never really talked about owning a home. And at least for like my generation, it's, I think it's because owning a home seems just like incredibly inaccessible for like how things are going for younger people. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, after I can imagine that, like, if I had like were in an apartment the entire way through lockdown, I'd be like, okay, I'm ready to own a home. Yes, that's which I've been. I mean, I like I said, I've been dealing with this restaurant. I mean, I'm insane. Yeah, I hear a little sound, and I'm like, what is that? Yeah. Well, we've had to they deal so like with them so much that like I I feel like I would be that way too. <laughs> I have, and I found out, remember I was telling you like, cause they were using a generator behind the building yeah. to run the restaurant. So the generator, I think had a lot of toxins coming from it. Oh yeah. That wouldn't surprise me. And I think that's why it's, it's not surprising that I'm starting to feel better. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean, that makes me angry. Oh you know, yeah. That they, cause they, they were doing a lot of stuff because it's behind the building so they could get away with a lot and yeah. a lot of the other tenants are younger than me and when you're young you just kind of go with things you don't really like care and, yeah. you know you'll just move you'll just pick up and move yeah and a lot of people have moved and i was like i am not having that uh-uh mm -hmm. and they're a white owned business i was like uh-uh you're not no 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 oh is yeah harlem no. this is harlem Okay. Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm not moving to so that your business can thrive. Yeah, mm. absolutely. And they also shouldn't be like using a generator that could potentially, you know, be harmful to like the black residents who were there for so much longer than, <laughs> than they were in Harlem. Well, and then the, you know, it's funny when you talk to people about things like this, it almost has the familiar ring of like, when people were talking about COVID and ha and being misinformed. Yeah. You know, it's like the environment and how we live and what's around us. We are so misinformed about it. And we oh, don't, yeah. we don't, if anything coming out of this, we should know now how to take care of ourselves and, mm -hmm. and also how to fight to protect ourselves and yeah. a generator is not something that can be just because the toxins are going into the air. I don't know where exactly the toxins were going. Yeah. You know, and I saw a whole study by uh, the Bloomberg study talking about these restaurants. Oh, and sure. Yeah. Generators, you know, because I was up at night. I was like, why is yeah. this motherfucker still running? And let me yeah. find out. I was like, reading it up. <laughs> I was like, I was like, no, 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 no. And then I saw that article by Bloomberg, the Bloomberg report. And I was like, yeah. oh, no, I'm telling, I'm telling on you. Yeah, <laughs> I'm calling three one one. I did call three one one. I would too. <laughs> Let's see. Hey, that's what's up. Aw, Ashley. That's so nice. And then Justin Swift says, "Uh oh, what did I do with Justin?" 
show lots of first time home buyers perks out there. Get it gals. Yes, this is very true. I'm trying to get there. I have to get all my finances together instead mm -hmm. of playing Fortnite. <laughs> Tonight I was supposed to be doing my tax or today I was supposed to be doing my taxes before this. And I was, yeah. I was upset because my Fortnite kept crashing. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. I was like in the middle of like, it's like you do so much work in Fortnite, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and then you realize <laughs> you crashed and you can't even like it's and you That's you, so you sad. Yeah, because you still feel like someone's playing the game and they can see you. Cause when you yeah. crash in a game, you're just stuck like this. Oh, that's so annoying. <laughs> and then they can like kill you or whatever. But I played with Mateo, like mm -hmm. not last night, the other night. And this was freaky. The way this mm -hmm. guy killed me in the game, I have never experienced. Really? Oh, it was crazy. Cause mm -hmm. I was in this room. Cause I usually go in the room and I wait for them to come in. Yeah. Right. And then I blow them away. This guy did this. He like peeked in the room and then went out. <laughs> like That's so creepy. Like, it was so creepy. And then yeah. my teammates were nowhere near me. And I was like, you guys, this is yeah. really good. Help me. And he would like <laughs> peek in the room and then go out. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> and then he peeked in and then he shot me with one shot and I was done. Um, wow. And I won't have a house if I keep playing this game. <laughs> Basically. Are you looking there. in like any specific areas or are you just kind of seeing what's, you know, on the market? Good question. <laughs> Evelyn, I know why I love you is you ask the right questions. I am <laughs> actually trying to narrow it down. Initially, I was thinking about Vermont. Wow. And everyone was making fun of me because I really love Vermont. I love Vermont too. I love Vermont. It's so nice. Like, it's so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. So pretty. Yeah. And then my friends would be like, well, there's a lot, nothing but white people there. I was like, hey, easy. Okay. Those are the good ones. Yeah. For the most part, for the most part, for the most part, I know there's still some, you know. Yeah. But that's the burn. that's Bernie land. You know, yeah. and I've done shows in Vermont and I think it's important that during this time that we don't like say that because I have really, there are good people out there. So yeah. Vermont in, in Vermont is becoming very diversity is happening because people yeah. want to move, you know? Yeah. So I did look at some homes in Vermont. Wow. The prices are more affordable taxes though. Pretty uh, high. Okay. Which is something I didn't even know, like what I'm saying right now. It's like, I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't fully understand. I mean, I kind of understand, yeah. but I'm like, it's really important to know the taxes. Oh like, yeah. And I, yeah, I was just saying, I wouldn't think about that. Yeah. Well, I don't know. But, and then also it's so it, this whole searching for a home thing, the mm -hmm. people who I know, there are comedians who have apartments in New York city and they have homes elsewhere. Mm, yeah and it's very doable it's actually affordable yeah. to have an apartment a cheap apartment in new york city and a home yeah. somewhere else i mm. can actually this is how good it is i can have an apartment and a home somewhere else and oh, still wow. pay less than the person who is in the apartment right next to me wow say word <laughs> that's nice that's just you know because i just never understood yeah so vermont is a place mm -hmm. there's also um <clears throat> areas surrounding new york city yeah long, long island is one um uh, but the, the 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 prices are more expensive with mm -hmm. you know surrounding new york city you know cold spring which i went yeah. for a weekend was great um these are areas outside um but I'm thinking, and then there, and I could drive the another yeah. area that my best friend really wants me to think about is like Michigan city. Oh, okay. Which is like a little, like, uh, it's like a, um, a beach town. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. It's cold, but it, when it's not, it's beautiful. Yeah. 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 Michigan city, Indiana. Oh, wow. So these are some places 
that I'm <laughs> thinking about. We'll see. I got to narrow it down though. I've got to figure it out so I, mm. so I can escape and I'm not yelling at these people behind my building. <laughs> I'm buying this year. Oh, Tony, are you? Tony McGuire, what up? Hello. You're you're welcome at my house in Leitrim, whatever you like. What's Leitrim? Yeah. Is that a misspell? Yeah, I don't know. Is that a place? I don't know. Yeah. Do I know you, Tony? <laughs> like I feel like if I know you, I would go to your house, but I don't know you. So thank you. But nah, <laughs> let's see. Big ups, Miss Fran. Heck tech, big ups to you too. Where are you no. at? If you're just joining us, this is Marina Franklin and Evelyn Frick. Yes. And we do the review and the preview of my friends like us podcast here every Saturday. We also talk about the live virtual comedy shows that we will be throwing to you because we were going to stop, but we found out that people still want it. So we are going to come up with a date and we are going to let you know soon. We are going to announce it next Saturday on our YouTube live. And we may be giving away free tickets. Yeah. That's the one plus side, you know, also you get to see me, but yeah. plus side <laughs> of coming on the YouTube with me and Evelyn is that you yeah. may get free tickets. And I think we even gave away a free mask last week. So yeah, we give, we give free stuff away. So continue to subscribe to my YouTube page. Tell other people about it. Also yeah. tell them about the podcast. The Friends Like Us podcast is my podcast that features women of color talking about topics, trending topics. Once a guy we have once a once a guy. <laughs> once a month we have a guy. Yeah. Once a month we have a guy. And once a month we have a white, it's like a period. Yeah. Um, so, you know, definitely, you know, check it out. This is women's international month. So it's all women this month. Yeah. That is the focus. That's what I'm trying my best to do. So yeah. no men this month, but we did have Dean Edwards on actually for the Patrice. <laughs> we talked about the Patrice O'Neill documentary. So yeah. welcome and tell us where you're from. Don't just join. Tell us also where you're, you're from. Okay. Yeah. Uh, just since you're just tuning in, Heck Tech. Oh, Heck Tech is from the Bronx. Boogie down Bronx. <laughs> yes. You know, there's some places in the Bronx and past there in Yonkers that looks actually, I didn't realize Yonkers could look kind of. Yeah. It looked kind of cool. I didn't even realize that. Yeah. No, if I, I went to college in the Hudson Valley and like anywhere kind of up along. Um, the Hudson River in that area. If I were to buy a house, I would love to live there. It's just so pretty and nice. It is pretty. You, you don't even realize all that is out there. Yeah, past the city. Like I'm kind of done with. Oh, yeah. I know you're you're lo you're young. So yeah, <laughs> this dog is really where's that? Whose dog is that? Look at me. <laughs> I'm so like aware of everything. But when I hear the dog go, that it's like oh my heart. Yeah, it's sad. It's like, oh, it's the dog. Oh, I just heard that. You heard it, see? Yeah. I know who it, I know whose dog it is. Mm. It's the girl who's leaving because of the back door, the back restaurant. Um. I blame them for everything. <laughs> They're responsible for so much. The dog yeah. crying. I know. How could mm -hmm. they do that? How could they? So uh, thank you for saying hi to Evelyn. Hello. So yeah, home ownership is key. We talk about it on the podcast. Yeah. We also talk about it in a way that deals with race relations mm -hmm. and, you know, America and how, you know, black Americans, African Americans are feeling yeah. in America today as like, as far as the diaspora and Zawadi Morris says so much brilliance on that show. Yeah. Right? You just got to listen to it because she's she's, she is incredible i mean she's she's very educated she went to university of illinois with me yeah. and then um went to oh i'm gonna mess this up i want to say northwestern but um. i don't think it was what northwestern um but you can look on our page and see her bio she's incredible she has the brooklyn reader which is yeah. a local newspaper in brooklyn um that is hers she yeah. owns it. She also has a project called the COVID-19 project. She's yeah. talking about, you know, what's happening in the neighborhood. So check out Zawadi, see Zawadi 
Morris on this episode of Friends Like Us. Also, um, upcoming episode of Friends Like Us. Look at me. I'm blanking as I'm <laughs> saying it because I just had the conversation, but I'm like, who was it? Who did it? Yeah. Oh, gosh. Who was it? Who was it? Oh, look. You're doing it, too. Yeah. I d- <laughs> we have so many guests. Oh, God. Oh, it's, you know what it is? It's also because we've both been vaccinated. You yeah. Think, you think part of the vac- vaccine wiped out our memory? Yeah, the brain fog. Like we have brain fog. I know yeah. it was a great show. Wait, yeah, let me check my email. <laughs> oh, man. Why can't – why is it in Oh, there? okay. It was Chris, Dr. Christina Greer. Oh, my God. Um, How could I forget that? Um, Liz Miele. Liz and- Miele. Mealy. Mealy and Jackie Fabulous. Mm. Really great show. That's a fun light show. Yeah. As well as we Liz Mealy goes in though. Oh wow. That's great. Oh, yeah. No, Liz always goes in. Oh, you know, fun. and it was fun. It was funny because we're cat ladies. Oh yeah. So we talk a lot about cats. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. I think that's like fun to like I feel like sometimes when it's like a guest's first time on the podcast that can be kind of quiet and like not talk that much, but it's like fun for like a first time guest to like go in. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's a fun, it was fun also. Cause Liz also wrote a book about why are cats assholes? <laughs> That's so funny. Why are they such assholes? And she's her mother actually helped me with my cat, Billy mm. that I love that past uh, miss Billy so much, but um, she helped me with Billy. Um, so, cause her mom's a vet, her father's a vet and great, great people. And, and Christina Greer is a cat lover too. Oh, of course. Yeah. No, we, we talk about that, but we also talked about like, um, well, we, we string it in with some real heavy yeah. stuff and you'll see, we talk about like mask wearing the oh. openings, seeing how Texas and other places are just totally disregarding the CDC yeah. and opening up irresponsibly. Yeah. Um, no good. Let's see. I'm thinking, Oh, I'm sorry. This is coming no, to you. That's again. okay. Heck Peck says I'm thinking of buying a home and I looked at a home in the Hudson Valley and they're yeah. expensive per square feet, but Hey, if you have a, the dough, go for it. No, I, I don't have, no, no, no. I'm trying to save still. <laughs> Oh, wow. Hey, Doug, man. How are you? Hello. Watching from Minneapolis, Minnesota. My Look girlfriend at I- lives in Minneapolis. Really? Yeah. It's a great city. I, well, I love both the um, the Twin Cities, Minneapolis and St. Paul. It's a great area. It is a great area. Beautiful parks. Oh, yeah. It's gorgeous. Minnesota. Yeah, my girlfriend gets so mad at me anytime I do a Minnesota action. She's like, we don't actually talk like that, but she does. Minnesota. Yeah. My my best friend, oh, I have so many, but Stephanie, she lives in Minnesota. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, Abby was like, um, wants us to add. So, Abby, what you want to do is email us at Marina Live Comedy at Gmail dot com okay mm-hmm. Abby, and we will add you to the vip mailing list yeah we'll be that show though next saturday or you can email us today yeah how about this for those of you that are joining us today if you email us that you would like vip tickets to the next show we will put you on that list and we will announce the show to you and if you can make that you just let us know yeah you have to do that though in the next hour at Marina Live Comedy at gmail.com. And then you'll be added to our email list. Thank you, Abby. Yeah. Abby, did you say where you are and how you're listening to us? Please let us know. We'd like to yeah. know. Um, all right. So, Mike, oh, um, pasta. Hmm. Why? Hmm. Mike Dicker, too, would like to say pasta. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> Randomly. Okay. All right. He must be referring to something. No, I don't see it. I, yeah, I, I think he must be, but I, I don't remember us talking, saying anything about pasta. I have to not eat pasta this month because my yeah. doctor said I was overweight. So, mm-hmm. but we talked about that on the show. Yeah. I'll talk about that on the next show. 
Liz's cat. Oh, her cat is named Pasta. Pasta. Oh. Complete sentences, Mike. <laughs> That's right. Liz Miele's cat name is Pasta. I remember that. Aww. Yes. Hey, Sophie Blumenstock. That's How my are you? Oh, oh, it just it went away. That's your girlfriend? Yeah. Hi, Sophie Blumenstock. You have great taste. <laughs> All right, let's see. Will you? Oh, Tamara is asking the questions of all questions. Ooh. Will you host a house music party as part of a VIP benefits? You know what, Tamara? I think that's great idea. Are you talking because I do dance a little bit after the show, right? When the show mm -hmm. ends? Yeah. The only thing is, is I, I'm kind of not a DJ, but I kind of am, I guess. I do have yeah. good taste in music. <laughs> you know what? That's, that's a good one to consider. Yeah, something to think about. Something to think about. I'm going to have to think about that one. Yeah. As part of the VIP benefits. Let's, let's, let's write that down. Write that down. Emily. Yeah, yeah, I got let's you. Let's note that because I think that's a great idea. Yeah. So, thank you, Tamara. Tamara's just all, What would we do? She's great. Yeah, Seriously. honestly without Tamara. What will we do? And if you're on here and you didn't know, Tamara has been on the podcast on yeah. Friends Like Us. She wrote a book with her father, collaborated with her father. It's called The Dead Are Arising, Stories About Malcolm X. Yeah. Okay, so check it out. It's on Amazon. Yeah. Right? Yes. So get Tamara's book. Hope I got all that information. Oh, no. DJ. Oh, Eric. <laughs> Eric Prince is here, ready to chat us up again. <laughs> oh my God, the rise of heaven. Marina, I think about your stand-up at least twice a week. I'm grateful. Oh, that's so nice. That is so nice. Thank you for thinking about my stand-up. That, that feel, makes me feel real good. Yeah. You know, it does. Because, you know, sometimes, look at me now, I'm like, <laughs> I am the goat. No, yeah, <laughs> no, but I really do. I appreciate you for saying that. So, um, and hopefully, we'll get back to a place where we can, you know, get this comedy thing in the room again and feel safe about it. Until yeah. then, I didn't see you at the virtual comedy show. Yeah, which we are doing. And if you want to know, like, I am at my loosest in my kitchen. <laughs> that sounded kind of freaky. Uh, well, it's fine. I should rephrase that. Oh, Tamara wants us to consider it. I will consider it. All right. And I'm sure DJ Eric Prince is talking. Yeah, oh, he's, he's saying set. nice things. So. I love that. Thank you. Thank you, Rise. Nelson Roy Miles. <laughs> Can you girls look up the Blossom theme song and do the Blossom dance on stream? No. <laughs> is that the blossom theme song like i think from the show blossom from the 90s that's what i was thinking hold on let me see if i can pull it up yeah which i've actually so i've only I'll heard of but i don't know what the blossom dance is i'm so nervous that i'll lose you can you still see me i can still see you okay i'm looking up the blossom theme song right now and then I'm going to try to share it. Okay. <clears throat> oh, boy. Let's see. Look at Marina's being fancy. <laughs> Look at me trying accommodating our fans. I know. We usually don't get requests on here, so. No, we don't. So this is exciting. Okay, guys, Microsoft Surface Pro. Of course, we got a commercial. Pro. Surface comes with a pen and touchscreen. I gave him this little bar, but just give me a whole touchscreen. Surface Pro, Ugh. detachable keyboard. This is because I haven't really committed. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Don't know about the future. That's anybody's guess. Ain't no good reason for getting all depressed. Buy up your pen. I don't think I could do that. Give you 
fuss it. Slap on a smile. Come out and walk in the sun for a while. Don't like the feeling, you know you want to have a good time. And in my opinion, nation, the sun is oh, going to cool it. That. <laughs> Yeah. Boo. No. <laughs> so there you go. Look, 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 look what I do. I can do stuff. See? Yeah. So I know how to work this live stream now. <laughs> oh, look, Cynthia Jacobs is saying, hey, ladies, I just discovered you recently and I will stay tuned. Oh, thank great. you cynthia jacobs thank you so much so how did you how did you just recently disc and where are you cynthia jacobs yeah. tell us so funny. for those of you that are just joining us now we do this every saturday every saturday we talk about my podcast here and we we talk we go in about topics and you know we also like to give out shout outs to the people who give us reviews yeah. of the podcast and at this moment i'm gonna let evelyn yeah. take it so that you know about the more about the podcast and why people listen to it because we get some really good comments and we it's do. a really good show yeah so um this first comment um comes from twitter from our good friend sully um who says i've been listening to friends like us since 2014 year in and year out marina franklin produces and hosts one of the funniest most challenging and most relevant podcasts ever this week with guests Zainab Johnson, Suba, and Zawadi Morris. Um, so that was fantastic. And then also I have a few, I grabbed a few um, comments and reviews we got from people who came to the live show um, this week. This first one comes from Patreon, um, a lovely message from Stace Williams who said, um, uh, oh, actually, well, she came to the, the show, but this is also about the podcast too. She says, thanks so much, Marina, for friends like us. I can't remember how I discovered you, but your conversations and the amazing people you talk with have made my life richer and deeper, especially during this surreal last year. I apologize for not supporting you on Patreon sooner. It finally dawned on me um, that support has to come from somewhere. So here's my better late than never, I hope, attempt to rectify that. Um, with warm wishes for your well-being in every way, love and huge props, Stace. Um, so that was just such a, a lovely um, message to get. Um, that is then, a lovely message. I got a reply to it. Yeah. <laughs> because, yeah. you know, it's one of those where I'm like, oh, my God, like I got to reply to it right away. But then we had to hop on the YouTube. Yeah. So that's why I sent it to you because I was like, what a wonderful, like, message to receive from yeah. someone just every now and then you're not sure if you should keep going with something that is, mm. you know, basically free. You yeah. Know, Cause we, we do give out a lot of free stuff. So, you know, and we put a lot of work and then, and then, you know, there's so many podcasts out there yeah. that you're not sure if yours really, you know, is important or it stands out in the, the world of podcasting yeah so when we get messages like that i'm like okay i'm gonna keep doing the podcast and if you you're just like listening to this now and you didn't know i had a podcast and you're going how do i listen to it you just it's on all platforms it's on um it's on a spotify it's on apple mm -hmm. Podcasts. it's on stitcher yep. it's on the link tree in yeah. my link tree here in the bio <clears throat> and also if you email us at marina live comedy we'll let you know we'll help you out yeah that's so. great yeah and then i just had a few more okay. um yeah from people who came to the show um let's see kathleen warnecki um said it was the best show yet so many great jokes and each guest was so good thanks again and then a bunch of heart emojis um, which is lovely. And then um, Simone Cooper said, I had such a wonderful time at Marina's show last night. Please let Marina know that I would love for her to continue doing virtual shows. I like that we're able to connect with her in a way that doesn't happen in a traditional comedy show setting. Um, so yeah, no, getting those um, reviews is just so nice to hear from everyone and, and hear their feedback and hear that you guys do want us to do 
more virtual shows and also to hear that the the podcast um a lot of comments we've gotten recently have been like the podcast really helped people throughout 2020 um which is just really great to hear that yeah because that's you know and it helps me too i mean th that's the thing it's like i know what i need you know i'm by myself i don't have nobody to lean on when i'm at home <laughs> You know, yeah. so it's nice. It's nice to share. It really is. And it's helped me actually to help, yeah. you know, so it's a give and take. It's, it's about that community. Like I do uh, TT Thursdays where I talk to my nieces yeah. every Thursday. Um, I, there was just a point when I realized you've got to keep talking to people, mm -hmm. you know, um, you, you don't have, if you can't be around them, you can still communicate with them. Yeah. And that's really important. Um, and my nieces, I didn't even know how important it was to them, you know, because oh. in the beginning they used to, I thought, oh, their annoying aunt, you know, is talking to them. Yeah. And then now they go, are we doing it this week? That's so sweet. Yeah. I mean, they really like last night they were, I just, I had to do it on Friday instead of Thursday. Yeah. And, um, they were like, are we going to do it? If we're not doing it today, when are we doing it? I was like, yeah. oh my goodness, they really love this. So they just talk to each other yeah. about, I mean, I'll just sit back and watch. I let them talk about whatever they want, but it's a lot of fun listening to them in this generation of kids who are stuck at home, yeah, um, at school, yeah. pretty much learning from school and how frustrating that is for them. Because yeah. I, don't, I don't think we've really, you know, there's so much stuff that's going on that really takes priority in the conversation but the mental health of our children is what has me the most yeah. you know concerned and hearing how they talk about school and how the teachers are acting and how the teachers are affected yeah. and how they're not feeling like they're learning at the best at the optimum yeah and um and then they were talking about this netflix show that apparently <laughs> they don't know anything about kids and they were like we wish they would do more research or have a kid be in the writer's room yeah <laughs> and i was like oh i don't what, what do you mean what's going on what happened that was yeah. wrong in the story and they were like well the the um they had some kid using the dog emoji and they don't <laughs> use the dog emoji anymore and i was like oh I love that they need a request for a kid in the writer's room. That's very, that's very cute. Isn't it? Yeah. They're like, like have in the text, they, they said something about the text was like proper grammar. It's like, we don't uh, use like punctuations in our text. We just. That's so funny. <laughs> I thought that was so funny and interesting. But yeah. That's, you know, I just love engaging with the younger generation yeah. just to hear, you know, what's what's going on in their minds. You know, they're our future. They're our That's future. So yeah, they are. So let's look at this. Let's see these comments here. Got to put the glasses back on. Thank you for the compliment. I saw it. I mm. saw that compliment. Thank you, Adil. Why, Adil? Why? Where are you from? Where? Mm. If you're just joining us, let us know where you're from. Uh uh okay marina looking fine as fuck oh thank you <laughs> i'll take that you know because it's saturday yeah <laughs> and, I, and i really didn't try and i need a haircut that's why i have this you do look great thank you i'm trying yeah justin swift heck yes more virtual shows it's like hanging out with sarcastic funny friends keep not keep knocking them out Oh, thank you, Justin. That's great. Oh, hello, Alex. Alex Atu. Where are you? Tell yeah. us. I love knowing where people are from. Yeah, it's so great. funny because when I first did this, I didn't know to ask that question. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, Cynthia, this is Cynthia lives in Maryland and wow. she stumbled across the YouTube videos and couldn't stop watching. You are hilarious. Thank you, Cynthia Jacobs. Thank you. We'll come and see us virtually. We're going to def definitely hit us up on Marina Live Comedy yeah. at Gmail and we'll get you some tickets. Okay. Yeah. Don't forget to do it in this hour. Mm -hmm. we'll, you get, we'll get you VIP tickets to that next show. We will announce. I should have been able to announce it on this show, but we're going to announce it. We will. Yeah. We just wanted to make sure 
because everything is changing and yeah and my schedule is getting busy because hysterical is coming out on april yeah. 2nd that's so exciting it is have you seen the um and evelyn has been helping me you know with because we got a lot of like um a lot of press yeah you know with it and it's really it's you want to tell them about it evelyn yeah sure so um hysterical it basically is just following a bunch of different um really incredible um female comedians marina is one of them um they they're also following um rachel feinstein judy gold um who have um, been on the show eliza schlesinger um nikki glazer um yeah so just a, a and even more than that i there are so many really incredible comedians um that they they follow and it, it's basically just about um you know like when like how um over the last you know 10 20 or so years um women have been really dominating stand-up comedy and and how you know important it is to um, give women the space to do stand-up comedy. Um, so yeah, I've, I've seen the trailer, I've seen a few clips from it, but I, I'm definitely excited to, to tune in when it um, is aired on April 2nd. Yeah, April 2nd, and then it uh, airs again on Hulu. Yeah. And someone wrote me, they DM'd me, they want to know how they can watch it internationally, and I'm going to find that out. Oh yeah, that's a good question. Um, and we're going to talk about that next week as well, because I don't know the answer to that yet. Yeah. But I do know, I think it has something to do with having like a, what is it called? Oh, I don't know. It's a technical term. Oh. Um, but there's ways to see things international. Oh, like a VPN. Yes, a VPN. Yeah. Yes. yes, thank you. Yeah. A VPN. And I don't even still understand what that means, but yeah a vpn um so i think that is pretty much it except for don't forget to check out the podcast i'm gonna yeah. see some of these comments here we've got four minutes don't forget to check out the podcast friends like us streaming on all platforms and uh coming up this episode this week we're talking about liz mealy's cat oh uh dr christina greer Christina Greer is really popular on the podcast. She's so, She's so smart. She's a professor. I really should be calling her Dr. Christina Greer. Um, I do want to go back to this one person who said they got the vaccine. They didn't think they should got, get the vaccine because they were oh, sick. Yeah, I did see that. And I want to say that is not the way to do that. Um, yeah. You can get sick again. So yeah. The antibodies like that you would get if you were sick only last for they don't last that long so definitely get get vaccinated yeah they don't last long so you got and and you know you want to protect yourself and make sure you don't spread anything now mm -hmm. we both got the pfizer yeah and i feel like i'm in first class <laughs> uh, yeah. but you know luckily and you know i want to continue to say this Black people want to get the vaccine. Yeah. These journalists that are continually saying that black people don't want to get the vaccine. This, the narrative is that black people were scared of doctors and scared of this vaccine because of the Tuskegee experiment and the way that we've been treated and the way people mm -hmm. don't believe our pain. That does not mean that we don't want to get the vaccine if it's mm -hmm. available and it's accessible and it hasn't been accessible because yep. there are ways that people have figured out how to get the vaccine yeah there are ways that people are they i know because i had a friend help me out get the vaccine. yeah on my own i was having a very difficult time so yeah. this this narrative that black people don't want to get the vaccine needs to go away they do want to they want to be safe and they want their elders they want to be able to hug, hug their children just like everyone else yeah okay so stop it yeah <laughs> and you know what if you're white and you know if you know someone in the black community that's having a difficult time use your white privilege mm -hmm. or if you just have technical skills use yeah. your technical privilege and help them out you okay you do, that's, that's your marching you know you could march in the street but you know what you could do you could help a community to live and thrive yep
That was good. <laughs> Woo! Any plans for Texas? Hell no. <laughs> no, Samuel. I, the way they opening up, I love you, Samuel. I mean, I don't know you, but I love the fact that you want me to come there to perform, but they're opening up so irresponsibly. I can't. I can't. Yeah. With Texas. You know that saying? I can't with Texas. Yes. I can't. <laughs> Why? I can't. Okay. Yeah. But you can see me virtually, Samuel. That's what mm -hmm. we've been talking about, actually, for most of the show, is that I do a virtual comedy show. Yeah. And we're going to announce that next weekend on my YouTube channel. You could also go to Marina Live Comedy at Gmail and write us there and you get more information. Or you can go to my website for the next date. Okay. Yeah. But get on our emailing list, Marina Live Comedy at Gmail. Yeah. Okay, Samuel Bronson. I was going to say, where are you from? But I know. <laughs> okay. Can, oh, I don't know why this thing, the, the questions, it keeps dropping down. Yeah, oh, I just noticed that. It keeps dropping down. This is, you know, it's like they're, they're still figuring out their system here. Yeah. And look, Samuel's like, I do understand. Yeah. <laughs> I see you all the time. I love you. Kind of. Thank you, Samuel. Yeah. Thank you. Can you girls stand? It keeps saying, can you girls yeah. stand up and recreate the intro to Blossom? No. Nelson, it, for some reason, your comment keeps getting highlighted on yeah. our stream. And Nina says, I've been trying to get the vaccine. See? Look at that. Nina yeah. Do, thank you for coming to the show again. Yeah. Nina Do, you're the best. And you're saying you've been trying to get the vaccine. I hear you. It's really difficult. It is not it's easy. Hard. You know, so... God bless you, child. You know, it's it's not easy. Yeah. And it's and you remember when I, I, I am gonna give myself a pat on the back here. But do you remember when I said, I don't know why they're not going to people's doors? Yeah. And now that they got the Johnson and Johnson vaccine that yeah. doesn't need to be chilled, because that's why they weren't going to people's doors, it's because it yeah. needs to be chilled. The Johnson Johnson one can be taken to people's doors. Oh wow. That's incredible. Yeah, because they can actually carry that one around. Yeah. I was like, if they can knock on my door about my electric bill or the census yeah. or a politician, they can definitely knock on my door and give me the vaccine. Oh, absolutely. Um, so <clears throat> I know you guys don't, some of you are still weary about the vaccine. We both have had the vaccine. Mm -hmm. I'm on my second shot. I didn't have any symptoms because I drank Pedialyte. Yeah. <laughs> You know, <laughs> and I enjoyed it. I drank at night and the next day. And I took I took Tylenol too. Um oh, and good. I didn't have any symptoms. Um so not and that's not true for everyone. Yeah. So the show was all thank you, Nina. That's great. That is great. So I guess we're gonna get out. I, I'm worried that some of the chats aren't showing up because yeah. it's some weird, weird pattern. Yeah. It's like, you know. But we really appreciate you guys all joining us today. Yeah. We really do. And um, you know how you could also support the podcast. Like <laughs> um, Evelyn was saying is go to our Patreon page. Yeah. Um, I'm going to put it here too. I, I'm like one of those teachers now where I have to put my glasses on all the time. And then here's the thing. I didn't even have to do this. I could do this. Yeah. <laughs> but this doesn't look cool. I mean, no. It looks, it looks cool funny yeah but you know yeah okay. <laughs> so let's see so patreon backslash friends like us i believe that's our patreon page mm -hmm. i think stripping you know i gotta move <laughs> it's like i can hear everything yeah yeah, this is that's our this is our Patreon page where you can support the podcast. Okay. That's it right there. That nice. link right there and you can actually give us a tip or donation there for the podcast that we run monthly. Yeah. Uh every, well, no, weekly. Yeah. Did I say did I say monthly? Weekly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, every Wednesday it goes yeah. live. We've had some excellent excellent recordings we have one coming up we're going to talk about um well a couple of friends of mine we also we have one coming up with a woman 
that talks about urban planning. Yeah. Because we're talking about homes and housing and she talks about urban development. Yeah. She, oh, I'm, I'm so really proud. excited for that one. My, my girlfriend's actually getting her master's in urban planning right now. So I'll have to let her know to tune into that episode. She was on the Bloomberg radio. This wow. woman is incredible. I mean, I am so excited. So definitely check out the podcast. Okay. Yeah. All right. I think that's it, guys. You guys yeah. have all been great. Thank you for joining us today. Another Saturday where uh, mm. Evelyn and myself, we talk about the Friends Like Us podcast. Um, so, um, Evelyn, do you want to say anything before we go out? Yeah. Um, thanks again for everyone for joining us. Um, definitely check out the link tree. You can find all the links there, Marina Franklin's website or Patreon, um, where to listen to the podcast, where to buy merch for the podcast. Um, and yeah, also make sure to, to leave us reviews on Apple Podcasts, um, comments on our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, um, wherever you can find us. And yeah, thanks again for tuning in. Yeah, thank you. And I didn't cough. No, you didn't. That's incredible. I think I won the award. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's, it, I'm getting better. Yeah, that's great. Uh, you have a great weekend too, Tamara Payne. Yeah. You too. Bye. Bye, Heck Tech. You're a mm. lovely person too. <laughs> Bye, Jay. Wow, Marina is truly. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I almost coughed. I'm a huge fan, but never been able to catch a live show. So go, go to the, the Marina Comedy Live. Get on my yeah. Jay Jackson. It's right there in the comments. Yeah. Marina Live Comedy. Marina Live Comedy <laughs> at gmail.com. Mm, mm, mm. All right, guys. And DJ Eric Prince was very quiet. He was very quiet. So suspicious of that one. Yeah. That <laughs> not like Eric Prince whatsoever. No. But bye, Eric. <laughs> bye. All right, you guys. I can't, you know, I can't see where the in stream says. So I can't. I'm not <laughs> What course did you do in college? Oh, you're starting a whole conversation, saying, Tony McGuire. We about to go. Tony McGuire, we about to go. See you later. Mark, Mark Farrell, you have a great week too. Stay safe. Bye. Bye.